As parents at Albury Court Playground in Bristol telling us how they talk to their children about sex, we're talking about this this morning because a new show about sex in relationships is coming to theatres in Bristol and Bath next month. It's called The Family Sex Show. And the creators say it's an important piece of theatre which was created with input and guidance from educational and safeguarding specialists. Uh, children must be accompanied by a parent or guardian. However, an online petition to scrap it has been signed by more than 27,000 people. Let's speak to Caroline Farrow, campaign director of Citizen Go, which started the petition. Morning, Caroline. Good morning, James. So what is your issue with this show going ahead? Okay, so nobody minds. Everyone understands that, yes, you have to be open and and talk to children uh, about sex and keep the conversation going. But actually, the focus of this show is about adult sexual pleasure. And if you look at some of the marketing for the show, it, it contains a glossary, glossary which aims to equip children with a particular vocabulary. And some of the vocabulary and some of the things that they're trying to teach to children, I couldn't even say to you uh, live on air. And there is a, a, a great difference between you know telling the children what they need to know in an age-appropriate way and sexualizing children. So children should not be introduced uh, to the idea that sex is fun and and pleasurable. Uh, and, you know, I'm not saying that, that that's not a true thing. Of, of course it is. But you're actually introducing children to a topic which they're too young for. It's inappropriate. They don't have the maturity to handle. And, you know, it leaves them vulnerable to um, sexual predators. You know, most safeguarding departments will tell you that a child who is hypersexualized uh, is actually at greater risk. And, and is, when is that see... true, though, Caroline? I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, that the, the show creators would say that this has been created with input and guidance from educational and safeguarding specialists. This is something they've taken very seriously. Do you not well, accept that? No, I don't, because I think the people that they've taken advice from are, you know, those with a vested interest uh, in in promoting sex education for children, either because they are from a particular lobby group, uh, you know, related, say, to to Stonewall, and they want to, you know, discuss all things LGBT and gender ideology with children, which a lot of parents, you know, are uncomfortable because it needs to be done very age appropriately. And secondly, because they're from, you know, various other lobby groups who have a financial interest interest in saying, well, parents aren't able to teach children about, uh, you know, sex. They need uh, outside specialist providers to do it. And this is not true. You you know, you do not need to pay a provider to uh, go in and teach your child what what they need to know. And and this is But Caroline, isn't it about parental choice, though? I I fully appreciate that you clearly would not want your child attending this event. And there might be many other parents listening who, who agree with you on that front. But if a parent does want to take their child to this show, why should it be banned just because you don't like it? Well, firstly, um, it's every child uh, is precious and no child should be at risk of premature sexualization. Secondly, the uh, audience in this show will not have been safeguarding. We don't know who will be taking children, whether it will yeah, be You could say that about friend. any show, though, couldn't you? Yeah, but this is a sexually explicit show. There is no, I mean, at the, during this show, actors simulate sex acts. They take their clothes off and get naked in front of children for five minutes. Children should not be desensitised to the sight of adult, strange, naked bodies. There's a difference between nudity in the context of a family home and the nudity of strangers. You know, children do have natural uh, boundaries. And what this show is doing is breaking down their boundaries. You do not, a five, six, seven, eight, nine-year-old does not need to know where is the clitoris, how to have an orgasm, you know, what people of different sexualities do together, what, how disabled people have sex. You know, this is all completely, completely irrelevant. It has nothing to do, you know, with, with teaching children how to be safe. You know, a lot It's interesting as well. You know, some of, some of the people in the clip were also saying that they do want to talk to their children about sex and they do want to be open. And that's quite right. They also want to do it in an age appropriate way. And, and there is no there is no need for fa- primary school children to, to be given all this sexual information, you know. Just, yeah, but ju- children- just, just on that, Caroline, it's a, it's a very fair point you raise. But of course, we do live in the internet age and there might be some parents who go, look, we would rather have these conversations, maybe sometimes in quite an open way, with our children so that at least they're getting the information that we're comfortable with them receiving as opposed to them finding out all manner of stuff online. 
Yeah, and I completely agree with that. I mean, I would also say that, you know, <laughs> there are ways of keeping your children safe online. You know, um, I mean, certainly I've, I've got five children and, and none of them were exposed to, to, you know, porn prematurely. And, you know, we were very, very careful with devices. But what this show is doing, it is selling a line that children, young children, it's really important that young children get taught about sex and how to have sex and, and all the different sort of fetishes and, and, and what have you. And there isn't any need for that. Of course, I would be the first to say to parents, you have to be open with your children. You have to keep the, the conversation going. Nobody's being prudish. You know, it's important that children that learn that bodies aren't, aren't dirty. But when they're approaching eight or nine, they need to be knowing, learning things about puberty and body changes. Uh, and, you know, and of course they need to learn kindness, empathy and respect. Nobody is, is dissing those values, but this is not the way to do it. And what this is doing is marketing sex at children and saying it's really important that young people know the ins and outs of sexual relationships and, and who does what to whom and how. Uh, and, and actually there are many other parents from you know, different cultural and religious backgrounds who would feel like, hang on a minute, I'm not sure that that's uh, what, what I want my child to be taught. And this is yeah. public money, James. This is public money being spent on, on this. This is all our money. And, you know, society saying, yeah, yeah, let's teach children. You know, I, I wish I could say live on air, but I can't. The sorts of things that, that children are being taught about. There is a glossary attached to this show's website saying this is what we were aimed to equip people to talk about. And some of the things... You know, you just would not want, you know, they're very, they're and very it's, niche. And it's worth saying, we, we, we did invite the creators of this show onto the programme this morning. They they didn't want to, um, but Caroline, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Caroline Farrow there, who's launched a petition to scrap a new theatre show about sex and relationships, which is due to come to theatres in Bath and Bristol next month. Uh, the show in question is called The Family Sex Show. The creators have defended it, saying it opens up conversations around relationships and is being created with input and guidance from educational and safeguarding specialists. They say it is with enormous sense of responsibility, compassion and caution towards children and their parents that we can consider this an important piece of theatre but clearly causing a lot of controversy and that petition that Caroline started to ban this show has now been signed by more than 27,000 people.